Welcome to King Lizard's Game Lounge and Xbox One's version of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So this is the PvP and it is Team Deathmatch. So you normally get someone come through this area I find. They're normally here by now, that's a bit strange. I'm sure we will get someone, there we go, excellent. Take that guy out. I'm using the uh, Man of War auto rifle. I really like this auto rifle. So if you're having problems finding a good reliable gun, I would personally recommend Man of War. Quite like this quite a bit. That and the very first rifle you get given, to be honest, are my two favourites so far. Well, I haven't unlocked everything yet because I just haven't played enough of that. Someone else found my trip mine there, and that chap unfortunately walked into my gunfire. So I haven't played a huge amount of Black Ops 3, to be honest. It's, and I, I generally find that with these games, I'll, or at least these modern Call of Duty games, I find I'll either do really well or absolutely bloody awful. Um, in terms of you know KD and stuff, however I can you know walk back in like now for instance is my first match, and I don't know how long. Um, I just felt like I needed a bit of a shoot 'em up, you know, and this felt like the right game, so uh, I stuck this on, and we'll see how I get on in this match. So far I haven't started out too bad, although oh I got sandwiched there between those two, and someone else found my trip mine again. These trip mines are great. I carry two of these. I don't have any perks. I'm literally using this character with guns and gun options, things like extra mag and you know holographic sight stuff. And I'm using those extra, you know, extra trip mines. Can't remember if I've got one on this character or two. I know, oh, got me again. I know one of my characters has got two trip mine capability, and I just love planting those trip mines around the map. They're just great for putting in little entrances, and they help whack up your kill streak along with your kills. Oh, can't jump. Not good. <laughs> Got another kill with a trip mine now. I think I've killed more people with a trip mine at the moment than I have with my gun. But, um, but yeah, I'm finding those quite a useful little thing to have, especially if you're trying to um, you know secure a position as such. They can be quite handy to put behind you and stuff to secure your rear end or whatever. Um, they don't always kill those. The annoying thing that guy shot the crap out of as he jumped up there and he got a taste of the trip mine as he jumped over. So if someone's having a go at behind. Oh, he got me. Couldn't quite get him in time. Let's see if he's still there. Doesn't look like he is. So this is the map Aquarium, by the way. In case you're wondering, you don't play COD. It's kind of an okay map. This, I, I, it, it's all right. I mean, it looks nice. And I'm not particularly a great fan of this map, to be honest. Most of the action I find in this map takes place to the right of me in that central part of the map. People just seem to like to either camp at the very top of the map, which I'll show you in a minute. Or no. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Or they like to camp in the little corridors at the bottom, the two rooms at the back of the map inside. Other than that, they don't tend to use a lot of the other areas in this map. Um, which is a bit of a shame, because obviously the map's there to be fully used. Nice kill. But, uh, I don't know. For me, it just always congregates in this section, going through this tunnel. Whoa, that was close. That was a nice headshot. Um, oh, someone else is coming. Got him too. Lovely jovey. Got something unlocked for my character. Well, they tend to congregate. Uh, another kill there. Get this guy. Yep. Got an assist on him. Okay, that'll do. So this area up here above me, look at all those dots. Right, I've got my super. That's excellent. Oh, that was how many kills? Awesome. Love it. That was a nice gravity spike execution. Couldn't have timed that any better if I tried. But they do camp up a lot in that area. That's why I always save. If I'm using gravity spike guy, I'll always save him for that particular area of the map. Obviously you won't always get there and be able to pull it off without dying. I find that a lot actually with the RBLBs and these controllers as a generally I'll try and pull off my super and it normally gets me bloody killed. I'm normally better off just shooting things and sticking with shooting things. So I find that off a little bit too early there. I'll be honest, I've not really used the kill streaks in this game. I keep forgetting I've got them. So I'll literally run around and even if I'm doing really well, I'll have unlocked all three kill streaks before and just not use them purely because I've forgotten about them. 
So I, I, that's the first time I used that hell strike thing, and obviously I didn't do a good job of that, so I'll have to try and work it out next time. I think basically I need to fire it off when I get nearer the ground and I can actually see something I can shoot. So I did. S I'm sure I heard or saw. There we go. I knew there was someone around here. Took that guy out. I've got my very last kill streak now. We'll hit that off. Excellent. I've actually not been doing too bad. This is my first game back in donkeys. I'm actually quite happy with this. I'll probably have some more matches that will totally suck now, I suspect. But um, but yeah, a welcome return to Call of Duty Black Ops on Xbox One. Thanks for watching. That was Team Deathmatch on Aquarium. I was using the Grav Spike guy. And I was using the, the uh, auto rifle, the Man of War one I would definitely recommend. Plus, those little trip mines. People tend to hate those, but they do me pretty good and help knock up my kill streaks. So I think I counted 20 kills there or something, so I think KD's respectable here. But I'll leave you guys to check that out. Please remember to rate and subscribe. Take care, keep watching, and keep well. And don't forget, come back soon. You're always welcome at King Lizard's Game Lounge.